Celebrity commentator, broadcaster, and author Eusebius McKaiser passed away on Tuesday following what his manager Jackie Stridham believes to have been an epileptic episode. He was reportedly going about his day normally. According to her, it occurred so fast. His lover Nuduzo Nienda and his family are in the mortuary, according to Strider. I feel very upset. This is unbelievable. The news of McKaiser's passing was confirmed by his relatives. The family released a statement saying, It is with great sadness that we report the untimely passing of our beloved family member, friend, and colleague, Eusebius McKaiser, early this afternoon. A devoted son, brother, uncle, partner, and close friend, he was also. His political criticism and analysis on racial and ethnic identity won him a lot of admiration and respect both locally and internationally. We want to express our gratitude to everyone for their love and support during this trying period. We'll soon make more news about his memorial ceremony and funeral. McKaiser, 45, came from a low-income household in Makenda Grahamstown and was a frequent contributor to Times Life. He enrolled at Rhodes University for the first time in 1997 to pursue a BA in Law and Philosophy. Before receiving a Rhodes Scholarship to attend Oxford University, he completed two master's degrees in philosophy, one with honors and the other with distinction. According to his bio on the Rhodes University website, McKaiser was a political activist and a social and political analyst at the Wirt Center for Ethics, where he took part in studies that looked at the interaction between civil society and the state in the realm of policy, particularly in light of the shifting post poliquin political landscape. According to the institution, as a political activist, what important to him is understanding the social and political issues that have an impact on our lives and getting people to sit up and take note of this. He publishes frequently in the national and international press and has a particular interest in identity issues and its political ramifications. His activism is something that characterizes his life. The New York Times, Business Day, Mail Guardian, Sunday Times, Sunday Independent, City Press, Newsweek International, BBC Focus on Africa, The New Republic, Financial Mail, and Destiny Man are just a few publications that have featured his media work. Also, he presented on Interface on SABC3 and hosted the Talk at Nine show, a weekly conversation show on politics and morals. On Talk Radio 702, the institution said that in his spare time, the former South African national debate champion and 2011 World Masters debate champion worked as a top international debate coach, MC, and public speaker. Also, he taught school children college students, and business executives throughout South Africa, Europe, and the Middle East how to communicate effectively, think critically, and develop their public speaking skills. Before that, he worked as an associate for the renowned McKinsey and company management consulting firm. He worked in state-owned businesses on projects ranging from organizational and operational efficiency studies to climate change. He contributed to the formation of a solid viewpoint on predictions of the worldwide demand for specific commodities. He often briefed corporate clients on political risk assessments of the South African political context, including investment companies. According to the university, McKaiser was motivated by the community and served as a tangible example of how racism and homophobia might be defeated.